here with us Dr. Lakshman, Assistant Professor, Department of Electricals and Electronics Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Chennai Campus. He's going to throw some light on what exactly is Triboli, what's the future of Triboli engineers, the job opportunities, the growth in industries connected to Triboli, and as well as with regard to his department as to how it is different, special and unique in comparison with the same departments of other institutions and universities. So Dr. Leshman, we welcome you for this. Thank you, sir. Dr. Leshman, before we commence our discussions on the Triboli Department of Amada School of Engineering, Chennai, I would like to hear from you a micro briefing about who Dr. Lakshman is all about. Over to you, Dr. Lakshman. Thank you, sir. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Lakshman, currently uh, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Amrita School of Engineering, Chennai campus. So before joining at Amrita Chennai, uh, I completed my B.Tech uh, from University of Madras. Later on, uh, I pursued my Master of Engineering in the stream of uh, Power Electronics drives from College of Engineering, Indiana University, main campus. And then uh, I worked as assistant professor at our uh, Amrita Koyamudur campus for the duration of three years. Later on, I went to pursue my PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Mandi, Imachala Pradesh, under the collaboration of uh, Central Power Research Institute, Bangalore. Then after defending my thesis, uh, I worked as assistant professor in one of the institutions in Andhra Pradesh. Then I joined at uh, Amrita Chennai campus. Thank you, Dr. Lakshman. Dr. Lakshman, uh, we uh, would like to know about uh, your department of uh, Triboli at Amrita School of Engineering, Chennai. Uh, in what way is it uh, different? In what way it is unique? And in what way it is special compared to the other, uh, the same department of other institutions and uh, universities across Pan-India. Over to you, Doctor. Of course, uh, our department is uh, unique uh, because the first, we have very good faculty. The strength of the faculty uh, from our department is, uh, is, well, uh, is well and good because all the faculty members are PhD holders and uh, uh, they have worked their PhD research in the recent technologies. Uh, that's one of the first strength. And the second strength of our department is uh, laboratory infrastructure. We have state out of the laboratories, uh, which supported by our academics as well as uh, industry sponsored uh, laboratories. Moreover, uh, we have uh, some of uh, the projects uh, uh, which came from industry. Uh, that is our third major strength of our department. Dr. Lashman, I want to ask you a straight question as to what are your preparation for your students, for the projects, as well as for internship. Because I know that internships and projects are very, very important in the teaching and learning process to be a successful engineer. Over to you, Doctor. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, with respect to project, uh, we encourage students to do the project when they're studying the courses in every semester. Because uh, during the project, they can learn more. Uh, so, we are telling to students to identify the industry-oriented problems as well as the issues which presently happening in the industry based on their respective domain. Then, uh, they have to find out the solutions. So, uh, the students are doing the project either a capstone project based on their uh, uh, problem identification or a major project based on their project, uh, problem identification in the industry. So, the project is the very major component with respect to their curriculum as well as to improve their, uh, their skills in their respective uh, course. Moreover, uh, the pro when the students are doing a project as a group, it will improve their leadership quality as well as the, the commitment towards the work. Uh, so that is the one of the uh, uh, second advantage they are getting when they are doing the project. Let us come to the internship. So, we are encouraging the students to go to do the internship in the reputed academic institutes in India as well as international universities and also leading industries. So when they're going to do the internship, they are working towards the team of the academics as well as the industry people and they are so finding the problems and providing the solutions to the then and there so that uh, they can improve the skills before they're going to join the job. 
Dr. Lishman, it's always easy to teach what you know to your students. But in my opinion, it's not just teaching what you know to teach or the subjects that you know about Tripoli to be taught to the students. Uh, I always believe that uh, you must be in close connection with the requirement of the industry. And if you agree with that fact that yes, uh, you must be sort of watching what's happening, the changes that is taking place in the industry, uh, the growth, the technical uh, advancements and transformations, and then knit your students based on the requirement of industry. And if that has to be done, you need to change your curriculum based on that, right? It's not just uh, one size fitting all. So you must have specific curriculum as per the requirement of the industry. If you have to do that, you need to have something called the industry connect. So in what way or how strong is your department in terms of academia industry connect? Over to you, doctor. Sir, uh, we used to call the uh, industry people, uh, those who are on the senior level, uh, to give the guest lecture as well as, you know, uh, for FDP faculty program, which, in which students also can join. Through that, uh, the, 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 the real problems in the industry can be open to the students so that the students can learn uh, from the industry people. And also, we uh, report, uh, repeatedly getting their uh, inputs from the industry uh, people, uh, what are the problems they're getting and how to improve our curriculum. So based on the inputs from the industry people, we are revising the curriculum for every four year. Meanwhile, uh, any, uh, any, any uh, the very important point needs to be revised in the recent emerging areas based on industry requirement we are revising the curriculum also. So the industry connect towards the academic uh, is very strong with our department. Dr. Lishman, I now go to the most important question from my side is regarding the placement of our students with the uh, Tripoli background. What do you see about in the next 10 years that this particular department is going to flourish in terms of creating more opportunities for our students or is going to be stable or the demand for Tripoli students would uh, come down. So what is your takeaway from that question of mine regarding the placement of our students with Tripoli background? Over to you, doctor. Yes, sir. So with respect to placement for uh, the students who is pursuing the B.Tech in Electrical and Electronics Engineering, uh, the placement opportunities are extremely good because the students can uh, get placed in either the uh, government-based core companies, example, BHEL, Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited, Bharat Electronics Limited, or some uh, thermal power stations as a electric engineer training. In other way, they are, can also join the leading uh, uh, electrical core companies like GE, Centric Electric, all those things. So the placement is very good. The point is the student have to improve the skills towards the industry uh, needs. That's the first point. And moreover, the students who are pursuing the B.Tech in Tripoli, they can also work in the IT industries, that is software-based companies. Because uh, they are doing some courses which will be helpful for them to get opportunities in IT-based companies also. And recently, the technologies keep on changing with respect to the electric vehicles, as well as the smart grid and IoT. So the student who is pursuing B.Tech in Tripoli, they have, they have very plenty of opportunities in these three domains like electric vehicles, IoT and artificial intelligence. So the placement is extremely good. Uh, the point is they have to improve the skills either in the core company areas or the specialized focus on the recent technologies like electric vehicles, AI and IoT, etc. Dr. Lishman, there are many students who would like to get into those so-called Navaratnas, you know, the public sector, like IOCL, you have uh, ONGC, you have NTPC, you have BHL, you have BEL, but they ought to need to clear one, one of the toughest to the examination, which is called GATE, right? Even for getting into the higher studies, one need to qualify into GATE, which is Graduate Aptitude uh, Test for Engineering. And uh, how do you prepare our students to get highest or the maximum percentile in this so that they qualify into the interview sessions of uh, those Navaratnas and be part of that government of India public sector undertakings? Over to you, doctor. So to get into the public sector companies, uh, 
the uh, minimum qualification they have to uh, obtain the good score in the GET examination. That's graduate so after after test test engineering. engineering yeah. engineering, so. so for our students, we used to teach the GET topics even from the second year onwards. Okay. So we in the timetable itself, we are putting a slot for the GET class. So every student should attend the GET class. So we are training from the, the core subjects uh, from the second year onwards. So by the time when they're reaching to final year, uh, they can easily take into the GATE exams. Before that, we are giving regular practices to uh, uh, with respect to GATE syllabus as well as the GATE questions. So of course, we are offering the GATE, GATE class coaching in every semester from second year onwards. Absolutely. So we have Dr. Lakshman from uh, EEE, right, Electronics and Electrical Engineering from Amida School of Engineering, Chennai campus, who have briefed about what is Tripoli, what are the prospects for Tripoli students, and what is the industry likely to shape in the next 10 years, and also the help required to clear the gate examinations to get into those renowned public sector organization within India. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Leshman, for being with us and uh, briefing about your department of EEE. And uh, I'm confident with the fact that your uh, explanation and exploring the future of uh, Tripoli would help our students to pick Tripoli as their UG program. Thank you once again for being with us. Namaste. Namaste.